Hi people and welcome to another CameraHorders.com video preview. Today I have a very special camera, it's the Sony RX10 digital camera. Basically this camera uses the same sensor found in RX100 Mark II. It has 1 inch diagonal and 20 megapixels. In this camera it is paired with 8x optical zoom lens, 24 to 200 millimeters. Uh, in 35 mm terms. This lens has a constant aperture of f2.8. You can also attach 62 mm filter and by default you get this lens hood with the camera. A nice detail on this camera is this aperture ring so you can select it right on the lens. Also there is a switch at the bottom of the camera. It says click on or click off at on setting. Aperture ring has clicks. And when you set it to off, it just slides without clicks. This is very nice detail if you do video shooting, so you can extend uh, depth of view, depth of field during video recording. You can zoom the lens on two, uh, on two different ways. First, it is using this dial around the shutter. As you can see, it just slides constantly. Or you can set this dial over here, where it will uh, zoom in steps. For example, 35. 24, 35, 50, 70, 100, 135 and 200. You can use them simultaneously. Ergonomics is quite good on this camera. It is relatively big and fits very nice in my hand. But uh, because the lens is quite big, it is advisable to hold it with two hands. It is easier. On the back you can see a 3-inch LCD monitor with tilt function and electronic viewfinder. Also Sony added this status LCD display with this orange backlight. This camera is completely customizable. You have com uh, overall seven customizable buttons. This, this one over here, custom, uh, AE lock, FM button, center button of this multifunction, multi-way controller, left, right and button. Let's take a quick look at the menu. As you can see it records in 20 megapixels, there are four aspect ratios to choose from and several combinations of RAW and JPEG file format. Video can be recorded in Full HD at 50 progressive frames per second. Uh, flash mode. Oh, I forgot to show you. This camera has a pop-up flash. It's really small and looks quite ridiculous on this camera. But also you get standard hot shoe so you can attach external flash. Focus area, there are three types. Uh, wide selection, center and flexible spot, you can choose uh, select autofocus point anywhere in the frame. AF illuminator, ISO value goes from 100, uh, excuse me, from 60, uh, 80 actually, all the way to 12,800. This camera has a built-in ND filter which can be selected on, left on auto or completely off. Quite balanced dynamic range optimization, nothing special over here to be seen. Also the lens has optical steady shot. You can... Uh, when you connect external microphone on this socket you can select manually uh, audio recording level manual focus assist, focus magnification time, nothing particular here you can uh, select for display button, that's this one over here 
several lay layouts for what uh, details can be shown on er uh, separately on monitor and separately for electronic viewfinder. Also this camera has speaking function. And these are settings for uh, external controls. Uh, as I'll tell you, uh, the function menu, this is tied to this function button. There's completely six, uh, two x two six uh, different settings you can assign. And also there are custom key settings. Uh, this is what I told you before. C control wheel, this is the one over here. AEL button, the one over here. There is, I don't know, something like 20 or 30 different functions, as you can see. The same thing goes for C button, the one over here. And also for center left and the right button and also down button on the multi-way controller. Also a bunch of functions. So basically you can tailor this camera to any way you like. These are Wi-Fi connection settings, playback menu, and the main settings, motor brightness, and so on. Uh, when you select audio signals to off, this camera is completely silent. Let me fire a shot to show you. Okay, I need to zoom out. Well, as you can hear, completely, almost completely silent. This is version 1.0, so this is the version you will be able to buy in shops. This is the final camera I am reviewing here. Okay, that's pretty much it. On the left side you can see connectors, HDMI, USB, 3.5mm uh, microphone input and headphone output for sound monitoring. Memory card is over here, it uses SD memory cards or memory stick and it uses Lithium battery, the same type uh, that goes in Alpha 7 and NEX models. Okay, that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you. Please visit my uh, blog camerahorders.com where you can see image samples and read a quick review. Thanks for watching.